Hi friends, welcome to another edition of weekly videos brought to you by dataplatformcentral.com. In this week, we are going to see something different. We are going to look into a real-time operational reporting use case. This is going to use an amalgamation of multiple technologies. So let's see how we can implement a real-time operational reporting use case using multiple technologies. Let's first look into the scenario on hand. The scenario says that a project requires implementing an operational reporting mechanism which is capable of analyzing the sales data feeds close to real time. The sales data comes in delimited format through automated emails. The solution should process the data automatically from the emails and made available in a report for analysis within the least possible time period. So if you read through the scenario, it's quite evident that the entry point of our solution here are some automated emails which contains the required files as an attachment and these are delimited files. It can be CSV or it can be any other form of delimited files. So the solution requires us to get the data from these delimited files and make sure that the data is available inside a reporting solution. So let's take the example of a Power BI. Report. So the reports should be able to reflect the data with a minimum of delay. So in this case, for such a operational reporting scenario, we are going to use an amalgamation of three technologies. First of all, we need a mechanism by which we can get the data from these automated emails onto a location. For that purpose, we will be using Power Automate. And once the data is on a location, then we would require analyzing the data. For this purpose, we would require some kind of an analytics engine. So in this case, we are going to use Synapse serverless SQL pools for analyzing the data. This would be very easier for the developers who have come from SQL background because they can just use the proper transact SQL statements itself analyzing the data. For this reason, we are going to choose Synapse serverless SQL pools for analysis. And finally, for visualizing the data, of course, we can make use of Power BI because we already know that and we have seen in an earlier video as well that Power BI can be closely integrated to Synapse Analytics. So this solution consists of an integration between Power Automate followed by a Synapse serverless pool and finally a Power BI report. So let's see how we can implement this use case. To see this in action, let's first send a sample mail to a email address which is supposed to receive the automated emails. So the test email has now arrived in the email address that we specified and the test in email includes a delimited file as an attachment. Now the attempt is for us to show the data from this file in a report. So we have a direct query based Power BI report set up for this purpose. Now that we got the email, we can expect the data to be reflected in this report after a small delay. As we see, the data is now reflecting in our report. From blank, the report has now showed an order count value of 459. This is the data that came from the files which came through our automated email. So this is an example of a case where based on the data feed that automatically comes through automated emails, the system processes the data automatically and the data will be made available inside a Power BI report for immediate analysis. The scenario here shown is a proof of concept, but in the actual case, you can add additional functionality to the solution if required. Now let's see what happens if we add one more file to this. So we are sending a second email with another file attached to it, which also contains the same data feed. So the second file belonging to the same data feed has now arrived in our email address. Now let's see after a short delay, the data being reflected in our Power BI report. So in a short delay, the count is going to increase from 459 based on the data that is coming in the second feed. As expected, the count has now increased to 637, which includes the data that came in the latest file as well. Now let's see how this process works from behind the scenes. So we have a power automate flow set as the first part of our process. So what this flow does is that if you go to the details of the flow, it 
has an email step as its first step what it does is that when a new email arrives in the gmail inbox which we have linked it to in this case i am linked it to one of my corporate emails this works well for corporate emails for the personal emails there are some limitations so you have to make a connection to your gmail inbox once you connect it to a corporate gmail inbox any email that comes inside the process gets triggered and the advanced option i have also configured it looking for uh, attachments and to include attachments in my processing so basically it looks for those mails which are coming inside the inbox with an attachment and whenever it finds a mail it will go to the next step within the flow and next step is actually a iterative step which iterates to each of the attachments within our email and for each of those attachments what it does is that I am using a create blob activity which basically connects to uh, Azure blob storage or Azure data lake storage which is basically a storage account within my Azure portal and of course you have to create a connection to that as well here by giving the account name as well as the access and then from the attachment it pulls up the file and creates a corresponding blob file inside our Azure storage. So for every file that is coming inside your email, it will automatically create the corresponding file as a blob file within your Azure storage. Once the file is inside Azure storage, then it can be directly read from your Azure Synapse Analytics serverless pool. You don't even have to pull it inside because Synapse serverless pools have external tables concept. Using external tables concept, you can link it to a Azure blob storage folder. For this you have uh, multiple steps you need to first just create a database scoped credential and then followed by that you can create a table inside your serverless pool and inside that you can configure it in such a way that the table points to the Azure blob storage location. So if you go and check the Azure blob storage location it looks like this so you, it will have the two files that have come in both the emails now the sales order and the sales order 2.csps which came in both the emails and corresponding to this if you go inside your Azure serverless pool you can create a table like this so I have defined a table I know that what is the metadata of the files that means what is the format in which the data is coming in my files that so my file contains order ID customer ID order status order date all these fields so based on that I have created a table inside my serverless pool and it is pointing to the email files location so email files the container within the storage location where the files are coming and the files are placed inside this story location by the power automate module which i have written so this is the first part so once it comes inside the azure synapse analytics serverless pool you can just call it just like a normal table so using a simple select statement we can select the data from this table which will contain the data which is corresponding to the two files which is currently there in the storage location as and when new files get added automatically the data will get included inside the external table because the external table is nothing but a virtual definition which is pointing to the azure blob storage if you need more information on the external tables in synapse you can refer to the link i have posted in the description so once you have this on board then it is up to you to just pull this inside the power bi report that is very simple you have a direct connector which can be used for connecting to the azure synapse sql pool and you can just pull the table as it is and use it in case you need to join into something else you can either do it in the sql statement itself or you can pull it inside uh, power bi report and uh, you can pull the other sources and do the modeling there so that part i'm leaving it to the users because it's a common scenario most of you might have already worked on it so the core case here to understand is that how the whole solution works so what you do in the beginning is based on a uh, power automate module followed by that you have a azure blob storage setup and uh, in actual case when if you are creating a synapse pool automatically there will be a adl storage associated with that if you want you can use that storage itself but in this case, I'm using a different storage account. So both of them can be used. And once you have the storage account set up and you have the external table defined against it, as and when files get added to your storage account, automatically you can start pulling the data using a simple SQL statement as if it was a part of the table. So at the end of all this implementation, you could see get the latest data available inside your Power BI report. And uh, if you want, you can merge it to other uh, additional data and you can have a more detailed analysis here it is just the proof of concept that is being explained but this can be extended to allow any additional features to be implemented based on your actual scenario on hand
Hope this quick demo explained how you can set up a system which can automatically read data coming in emails and pull the data to a Power BI report with minimum delay. This type of solutions are mostly suited for the use cases which requires close to real time operational reporting. For example, in case you want to do some kind of uh, analysis on the incoming feeds for exception reporting, consolidation, similar type of scenarios. Hope you find this useful for your actual project scenarios. Feel free to let me know the comments on the videos. As always, keep following my channel for getting useful tips like this and subscribe to my channel and click on bell icon for getting notifications. Meet you all soon with another useful tip. Till then, bye and thanks for your time.